Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the Cyberdog Drive-In parking lot in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the parking spaces inside of the drive-in and getting our potholes blown up by some creeper action. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to continue on this epic build by finishing off the parking lots, installing the ticket booth, and installing a little cake stand so that when you come to watch a movie in the Cyberdog drive-in, you're able to get yourself some tasty-ass snacks and some crunchy-ass beverages. Because that's how we roll up in the Cyberdog Nation, my friends. Well, guys, I hope you are ready for some mind Minecraft survival and I hope you do have a tasty ass beverage some crunchy ass snacks because you know what time it is oh it's time for some Minecraft survival my friends well my cyber diggity dogs I want to tell you something man one of my favorite things about this game called Minecraft is watching our ideas take shape before our very freaking eyes man and as you guys can see things are starting to look seriously sweet around here what started off as just the top of a mountain face about five episodes ago or so is slowly transforming into our vision of the Cyberdog Drive-In and it is just looking absolutely jazz-tastic up in here, man. When we were last together, guys, I was adding some dirt into this particular build just to break up the monotony of the gravel and the andesite parking spaces. And all of this dirt is now almost grown over completely with grass, which means we can start adding some bone meal around here. And my idea was, as I was explaining in the previous episode, was to add a little bit of um, roughage to this place, man. You know, whenever I've been to drive-ins, there's always grass poking up through the, uh, through the tarmac. There's always bits of gravel that have broken away. And there's always a sort of foliage everywhere all over the place and that's the kind of thing that I want to emulate around here what I want to do is make sure that the foliage at the back of the drive-in is nice and lush nice and big because uh, we can imagine that the keeper of the drive-in probably does a little bit of lawn mowing every now and then especially before big premieres like the one that we've got coming up here man but near the back of the drive-in he's probably not paying too much attention to the grass growing all the way back here so um, I want to sort of make a few of these things quite large I think at the back yeah that looks pretty awesome and uh, then we can just sort of sprout some grass here and there and every now and then add a nice big one too just to sort of break up um, the effect there we go man this place is starting to look awesome and in this episode my friends I'm super excited because I've been working a little bit more on breaking up the monotony of this particular build and I want to I want to make a quick shout out to uh, one of my new friends uh, called Iskal85 man and Iskal85 is one of the members on my brand new series called Kingdom Craft and I have joined an SM piece uh, server which is basically a minecraft survival server and i've been jamming with the guys for a couple of weeks now if you guys haven't seen the, the uh, episodes yet link in the description box below man go and check it out but um my good friend Iskal from sweden he is a very talented crafter and he is all about breaking things up breaking up textures and making things look a little bit more re realistic by ensuring that we don't just use the exact same texture over and over again what we want to try and do is break up the monotony of our minecraft Minecraft craft textures by doing things like adding these strips of dirt in and amongst um, the gravel like this and also adding this foliage which adds a, a, a different different levels of height when you're looking down the way so if we go all the way to the back here what we'll what we will see which is different from the last episode is that suddenly the horizon of this parking lot if you want to call it that has suddenly been broken up by various height levels so the grass levels sort of go up here even higher than the actual fence itself and then what I've installed over here guys is the um, I guess these are like the parking bay areas and the idea is that you will be arriving in the drive-in on your horse from Mole City you'll arrive in here and you will park yourself in one of these bays and then you will um, attach your horse to the fence over here so that you can watch the drive-in movie without your horse wandering off in any random direction and I've also been experimenting with um, making this place look a little bit more re realistic and what we've got over here is a music box man check it out Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that thing's actually making tunes. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Uh, 
Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh man, I could probably do that for a few minutes, but um, this is kind of looking quite awesome. And here's another example of what I'm calling escalification. Uh, and we do do this in our world, but I don't think that we do it enough, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, what I've done here is every now and then I've added a mossy cobblestone wall or a mossy cobblestone block underneath here, just, just to break up the, um, the, the textures of the cobblestone areas that we have here. And I think that it works really, really nicely. There's probably a lot more that we could actually do around here too, guys. But um, I'm pretty keen just to, to keep it as simple as possible. I don't want to grow any grass uh, that's going to obscure the view um, of the premiere. I guess we'll probably slot ourselves in here for the actual premiere. And the rain is coming, uh, which is absolutely fine, man. I'm happy to work in rain. You know what, man? I haven't had a shower in a long ass time and I'm starting to stink. Damn. Um, but guys, what did I wanted to do in today's episode is complete the parking spaces that I started working on here. And then I want to install the box office in this position. And I want to install a confectionery room uh, or a, con a confectionery stand in this location over here. And I thought we could connect the box office to the confectionery stand. So the, you know, you, you can imagine that in a drive-in, they would probably be connected because but the workers that would be working in the box office and working in the confectionery stand would probably have their own little office office at the back of the of the confectionery stand um, kind of thing if you, if you if you know what I'm saying so that's what I want to try and do today guys but the first thing that I want to do is experiment a little bit with these note blocks and uh, these note blocks are a suggestion made by one of you very smart cyber diggity dogs man I've been trying to figure out exactly how to add a speaker or something like that to our parking lot um, and I think that the note blocks work really really well I was going to use jukeboxes but I think jukeboxes are super expensive, um, very, very expensive items that each one of them is going to need a diamond. And we need to conserve our diamonds at the moment, man. We do not have a ton of diamonds. And uh, I don't really want to be using diamonds to make sort of uh, jukeboxes and whatnot. So what I thought we could do, and we got a bit of a spawnage problem going on up in here, man. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, it looks like there isn't a lot of light in this direction. So for now, let's just add some temporary torches all around here just so that we can work in peace. I know what some of you guys are saying, man. You're saying, Ren Diggity Dow, go back and sleep, your butthole. You almost died in the previous episode, and you did die in the previous, previous episode. So what in the jazz are you doing? Well, my friends, I'm trying to get a few more levels because uh, we need to start enchanting some new weapons, man. We need some new freaking armor and some new weapons. So I'm just going to carry on sort of farming mobs that want to come and annoy me around here. I'm going to try and be a little bit less noobish when a creeper arrives, though. Um, <laughs> it seems like these mobs do not want to leave us alone, man. Skelebutt, get out of my freaking life. All right, there we go. All right, let's get some music boxes installed. Now, my major concern about these music boxes is the size of them. Um, I know they're only one block, but they actually do look quite massive. Um, and I'm not too concerned in this position over here. But, for example, if we were to add some music boxes in this location, in the second row, I think they might start obscuring the view of the screen. And I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. I mean, one thought is to maybe lower the music box down by one, or the note box, sorry. Uh, maybe lower it down by one, but that kind of looks a bit but <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Um, I think what we should probably do is experimenting with installing some of these music boxes. Oh man, it makes like a bass boom when you uh, try and break it. That's pretty sweet. Let's add a few more of these, uh, of these music boxes to the front here. So for example, let's add one in in this position over here and why don't we go with a how do we do this man yeah let's go with a mossy cobblestone like that and then what I'm gonna do is keep this grass and uh, this little bit of foliage here too so it'll look like this piece is sort of grown over and the cobblestone is given away that looks kind of rad and then let's add a bit of stone wall like that and let's put the music box like that and if we are sort of in this location over here you see, it does, it covers the bottom of the screen, which is, oh man, it's kind of annoying. And that's not, that's really not something that I want to, to happen. Um, I want to be able to see a full view of the screen without these music boxes um, causing any problems for us. So this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, I think I'm going to experiment with a few more designs here, guys. I'll bring you back on the other side of this Kaplam once I have something that I'm a little bit more happy with. Kaplam! All right, welcome back, my friends. I have been working through this crazy-ass thunderstorm and through this Minecraft night to finish off this parking lot. And as you guys can see, man, it is starting to look really freaking awesome. I have not been able to come up with a better design for these notebooks 
work blocks than I have at the moment, guys. So I think we're going to have to try and find another solution. What I do want to show you guys is the small little details that I've added to this. Uh, and most importantly, what I've done is I've sort of broken up the symmetry of each of these blocks by either changing the blocks into mossy blocks or by just doing small things like letting the, uh, the, the dirt or the gravel, like in this position over here, grow over this position. And I think that looks really, really nice. Look at this, man. Everything is sort of broken up. It's really starting to feel like a really old drive-in, like it's been here since the 60s. Um, and many, 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 <laughs> many girlfriends and boyfriends spent very many passionate nights here at this drive-in. Um, getting busy, getting busy. <laughs> but I think that's looking awesome. The only thing that worries me, guys, is like I was saying, I think that these music blocks obscure our view of the screen, which is... Ah, it's irking me, man. It is kind of unfortunate, but I think we might have to think of a better solution. I suppose uh, you could say that if you wanted to get the best seats in the house, you'd have to come into the front row where you get an absolute maximum view of the screen. Or I suppose even the middle row is probably the best. Yeah, the middle row seems to be the best. But I think what we could do is maybe what we could do is raise the height of the screen just by one row. So if we raise the height of the screen uh, by one up, so if we took away this row like this, that might help because at the back, none of the music boxes would actually obscure the bottom of the screen and that might actually achieve exactly what we want. And uh, while we're here, guys, I want to show you a couple more details that I've added uh, since you guys have been away, man. Hold on, let me just get rid of this. All right, there we go. Check it out, man. Um, this is looking pretty awesome. And what I want to do is add a fence around this area over here. I want to, I sort of, I want to fence off the, um, the support beams for the screen. And that is basically because of health and safety, man. You know, Griswold and Hippolyta, they are getting busy. And uh, they've been getting busy for the whole of Season 4, and it doesn't look like they're stopping. There's going to be lots of little children running around here, and we do not want them climbing up this very dangerous structure. You know, trying to climb up this ladder. They may think it's a jungle gym or something, and they will plummet to their freaking deaths, man. We definitely don't want that happening. Uh, so I'm going to add this little safety rail around here, too. Also added a little bit of cobble all the way around, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, I think what we could probably do though is break it up a little bit so for example let's add a couple of moss stone here and there and i also want to try and break it up maybe we could let's try this man let's add a bit of moss stone like here and then let's add a cobblestone slab like that and let's let's add a stair let's add a cobblestone stair in this position like this so we kind of get a small little break like, mm, well, in, in this texture pack, the, the cobblestone stair doesn't really look that good, does it? So that's probably not going to work out too well. Um, I suppose we could just add like a bit of gravel in there. Yeah, that could work. Let's get a little bit of gravel in there. I also made way too many note boxes. <laughs> uh, I had a full stack of, of freaking redstone and uh, I've used almost all of it. For some reason, I thought we'd need way more note boxes, but we don't. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty sweet. And maybe we just do a little break like that. So now... You can see that just those very, very small details. Let's get another little bit of gravel sort of growing in like that. Those very, very small details have transformed this uh, sort of cobblestone surrounding of the, of the screen into a much more believable sort of structure. It feels like it really has been here for a very long time. Um, and that the, the, the elements have taken toll of, on it, man. And look how nicely the mossy cobblestone connects to the grass over here. It looks like the grass has sort of grown into the mossy cobblestone. That's a really nice feature, I think. I really like that. But uh, this is looking sweet, guys. Let's have another look back here. Let's see if... Oh, do you see, that is already better. Now we can actually see the, the screen in its, in its entirety, even if the note blocks um, are sort of in the way. We kind of want to get a little bit higher. Oh, you know what? I think because we're going to be on a horse, um, I think that's going to negate the problem 100%, right? Let's head back to the stables and get old Atreyu out of there, man. Atreyu has spent a butt long time in the stables. It's time we took his bottle for a little bit of a run, man. Get those legs and exercise. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, at the end of this episode, I'm getting uh, eight more of you guys onto the Dogolith because it is time to start doing do Dogolith entries again. We are onto the second wall of the Dogolith for season number four, which is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Uh, but it's, it's freaking awesome, so stick around for that, guys. There's also something else that I want to do, which was a suggestion by you guys is to pick up the cyber dog pack and uh, i have been struggling to stay alive on this particular build and maybe it's time we recruit a little bit of help from our canine buddies uh, they have been stuck in the kennels now for 
goodness knows how many episodes probably like 20 um jock is still in <laughs> in Walmart, so he can chill there man because he had a nice long run around but the rest of the pack can follow us and come and protect us we got nugget we got rorschach and we got fido somewhere around here um uh, there's fido so wheat all right come with me doggies you got to protect my bottle we're going to head down into the secret passageway and head all the way into the stables to pick up the tray and guys as you can see man i was talking about um adding some details to our world and this we need to add some details here this is all single textures all the way through and you know what i was talking to Eskal about this and and we we had a he has a really interesting theory right his theory is that to be good at minecraft what you do is you use um, single textures like we have done in this world to create a really good looking world to be extremely good at minecraft um, you need to learn how to break up the textures and for those of you guys who've been watching the new kingdom craft series man you will see a ton of that happening on the server we are being very like we are focusing on details like nobody's business and i want to sort of inject some of that philosophy into this series also I'm just going to make our builds look a butt ton better man but check it out our road is working out really really nicely and uh we're let's uh, slot into our position like this actually that is perfect don't you think check the music box is right here and uh, we can see the screen absolutely beautifully i actually want to add that bottom layer back there because this is absolutely perfect man you can if you can imagine this place completely populated with horses um everybody's watching the drive-in with their tasty ass snacks and stuff man is going to be absolutely awesome yeah that is that is perfect man i'm absolutely loving that so we i'm going to add that layer back to the screen guys and then we can start working on the the foundations of the confectionery stand and box office welcome back my cyber diggity dogs the sun is setting man it feels like we are working exclusively at night at the moment on this particular build man it's kind of kind of crazy uh but man i'm just loving this look at this i've added the bottom layer to the screen again and it's just turned out perfectly it's looking absolutely amazing um and it's looking beautiful here man i'm just absolutely loving the foliage in the background i think it's just it's looking superb i'm very very happy with how this has turned out and by the way guys i, I want to answer some of your ocds also so, man a couple of you cyber dogs pointed out in the previous episode that this pole was actually not the same distance from um the screen than that pole over there so yeah i spotted that and i pushed this pole uh, out another three blocks this way so your ocd can now rest my friends everything is now beautifully symmetrical the drive-in is perfectly perfectly symmetrical in size and it's looking badass man and uh, i'm very very happy with how it's turned out and i don't think the music boxes are a problem now especially when we are mounted on a horse watching the movie it's actually perfect it's actually perfect look at that man what ah ah it warms my heart uh speaking of warming hearts guys nothing makes a drive-in movie experience uh special than some tasty ass snacks when one is watching the movie that uh, you've come to watch and that's exactly what we're going to be building here man my thinking here is to create a confectionery stand where you will be able to buy cake and cookies and maybe we'll put some health potions or something also there uh that we could sort of pretend to be tasty ass beverages and uh, you know when you come into the drive-in you buy your ticket it, you'll be able to come over to the, to the confectionery stand to pick up some tasty ass snacks and i think that'll be an, a, an awesome um re addition to this particular build and of course this is a suggestion made by one of you guys absolute genius as usual man you guys are just man you just come up with the best freaking jazz possible and i think what we should probably do is keep the confectionery stand nice and big when i think about confectionery stands at, at fairs or at uh, drive-ins or at anything like this generally they are the counter is actually quite large isn't it um th this is three blocks wide so we'll probably make it like that and this is just a foundation guys don't worry we'll be turning this dirt into much more awesome textures probably we'll probably be using stone bricks and uh, and a combination of wood and stone bricks i think that, that sounds like a pretty snazzy freaking combination throwing a bit of cobblestone in there maybe a bit of moss stone also uh, you know this particular structure is all the way out here in the open and uh, these doggies are not actually helping me very much <laughs> um you know this structure is all the way out here uh doesn't have beatrice to attend to all of the moss and all of the uh you know the stuff growing in the corners the mildew and whatnot um <laughs> man that was close freaking butthole creeper and the dogs didn't even do anything and the dogs are are damaged now man you know doggies i bring you guys out so that you guys can come and have some fun and oh no 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 do not S sit 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 do not make any babies 
I do not have any more spaces to feed. I mean, I do not have any more space in the mole hole for more mouths to feed, man. You guys take up more than enough freaking steakage already. You guys just sit here and chillax, all right? Just take it freaking easy, man. There we go. All right. Well, a creeper's had his way with... Um, luckily, didn't blow up the foundation that I was working on. But, yeah. Um, let's just get some lights around here, I think. <laughs> freaking creepers. Man, these doggies are, 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 are super keen to get busy. But I'm not going to let them, man. Anyway, back to what we were doing, my friends. The dogs are healed. They are chilling. And, uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty sweet confectionery stand. And I think what we'll probably do is make it, like, a couple of blocks wide... So this will be the shelf behind, I think. And, this, and on the shelf, we will have all the tasty ass goods. And let's then build up the wall like this, I think. There we go. Um, and on the other side of this wall, let's just go get a little bit more dirt. On the other, other side of the wall will be the box office. Do I have any more dirt in here? Yeah, I've got tons of dirt. Let's just drop off some of this freaking jazz. All right, there we go. Man, Trey is going crazy. Take it, take it easy, Trey. Just, just chill. Just chill, bro. <laughs> he, he heard a tasty ass snack and now he's just, look at him. <laughs> he just wants a cookie. <laughs> um, anyway, Rorschach, get out of the way there, bro. Move your cute little butt in that direction. All right, there we go, guys. Let's get a, a little bit more torture jump in here, though. Sweet. All right, so the box office will be, I think, let's make the box office like uh, in this position like this and what we could do is put like a little desk over here oh you know what we haven't installed yet guys and this is another suggestion made by one of you guys is a projector room oh this is a perfect position for a projector room right is this smack bang in the middle i mean it's not it's not ex entirely in the middle but it's basically in the middle oh i have an excellent idea i think the middle is Let's work out exactly where the middle is. So the middle of the screen is exactly, it's these two blocks here, isn't it? All right, so it's this this block and the one to the right of it. So let's follow this block all the way here. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, there we go. That's the exact middle, right? Oh man, check it out guys. I, are you picking up what I'm putting down over here? What we could do is build a projector room in this position over here. So maybe kind of like, maybe like this size. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Like this size, maybe we could have a ladder that comes up here. Right? So the box office and the projector room is, are, are kind of the same thing. And this... Oh, wait. That's not going to work because that's... This will be like a bridge, right? I think it probably has to be one block higher. But this can be like a little bridge. Oh, yes. And this could be the entrance into the drive-in. Oh, epic. We could make like a really nice little entrance over here. I think this probably needs to be one block higher though. And uh, we need to find a clever way to get up into the projection room. As well as finish off the, um, the box office over here. But so far, I'm liking this idea, man. This is, this is pretty awesome. All right, welcome back, my friends. Yes, this is turning out very, very nicely indeed, man. Check it out. I've just been working on the foundations for this uh, room over here, and I think it's starting to come together quite nicely. What I've basically done is raised the projection room uh, roof by one block, and then we'll probably have like an entrance into the office from this position over here, I think. So we'll have a door over here, and when you come in here, this will be where the box office person is, and when you go up this ladder like this, this is where the projectionist will be, and as you can see, we're smack bang in the middle here. And this is where the projection is going to be happening. How we're going to be doing the projection, I have no freaking idea. Uh, if any of you guys have any bright ideas, man, you know what to do, man. Hit me up in the comment section below. How do we make a projection, a projector in Minecraft survival? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but this is looking awesome, guys. I'm loving this, man. And the reason that I like this build is because it adds like a really cool entrance to the Cyberdog drive-in. And it gives us a location where we can actually we could make like a sign up here or a banner or something like that so that when you come to this position on your horse 
uh, you know that you have to buy a ticket. Maybe we'll add like a gate or something here that needs to be activated by redstone or something like that. And that'll bring you into the drive-in. You can come over here to the confectionery counter, buy yourself some cake and some cookies and a health potion, and then take your position to watch the premiere on the Cyberdog drive-in screen. That is what I'm talking about, my friends. Oh man, we're going to be jazzing up this place like nobody's business over the com coming few episodes, my friends. Guys, we are running out of time in today's episode, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is to get our buttholes back to uh, Mole City and back to the Dogolith Courtyard, because I got eight more of you Cyber Diggity Dogs to add to the Dogolith. What an absolutely epic view of Mole City in all her freaking glory, man. Looking absolutely epic. And the only reason we can see this, guys, is because we are currently on the Season 4 floor of the Dogolith. And we are high up, man. It is insane how high we are now, guys. And we can once again start adding you cyber diggity dogs every episode to the Dogolith. And without further ado, my friends, I've got eight more of you guys to add to the Dogolith. Starting on the left-hand side with users from dogcraft.net we have got matthew stickney mexican bat vader x base and stuff and cool c95 welcome to the dogolith my friends you've been immortalized in the interbubs forever and on the right hand side guys from youtube subscribers we have got lmlv gaming sean ward gamer man 3225 and charles charles galgamax man if that is your surname that is the most epic surname ever anyway guys welcome to the dogolith and thank you so much for being subscribers and being supporters of the ren dog channel and remember guys if you want to stand a chance to get your buttholes added to the dogolith structure you need to leave me a constructive comment here and there on my videos i choose you guys randomly from my comments there is also a thread on dogcraft.net the official cyber dog fan community where you can add your youtube username to stand a chance of being added to the dogolith anyway guys i really hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did you know what to do man you smackity smack that like button and if you haven't seen subscribed yet you clickety clack that subscribe button this has been ren diggity dog playing minecraft survival my friends cannot wait to see you in the next episode